Hello there, I'm Esteban from Gohitsu Short Studio. In this video, I want to talk about this little interesting brush that I have over here. Now, last year, I made a video explaining the different types of brushes, their bristles, and the combinations and the styles of brushes that you can, that they are out there for Japanese calligraphy. So if you haven't checked that video, make sure you do so, so you can have a little bit of an understanding on the different types of brushes that you can choose from when, uh, when you want to brush calligraphy. Now what I wanted to do now in this video and another videos that I have in the future is to pick few brushes that I have, different sizes, different styles with different bristles and brush calligraphy for you guys so you can see the difference on how calligraphy looks when you're having a different brush with a different bristle. So the one that I picked to this, for this video was this one that I have over here because I think it's the most interesting brush that I have and the one that I use the least. And uh, the reason for that being because it is very difficult brush to to manage, to handle, and to brush with, and also has a really long uh, tip, which I'll explain for what is that for. But um, I'm gonna go into detail in a little bit about this brush and what is it made of and what you can use for. And then at the end, I'm gonna brush a calligraphy with it so you can see how the calligraphy looks when you use this type of brush. So stick around, I'll show you that, and I hope you enjoy. This brush is made out of wolf hair, which means that the bristles are soft, but they don't absorb a lot of ink and sometimes can make the calligraphy look dry if you don't ink it very well. The handle measures 10 inches long, which is a lot longer than most calligraphy brushes. And the tip is 3.5 inches long, which is a lot longer than normal calligraphy brushes. Now, because of the long tip, this brush is really good for thin lines and very dynamic calligraphy. Now when you look at the, uh, the calligraphy that I'm going to do, pay attention on how the brush reacts to the paper and how the lines are made. that's it for this one guys I hope you enjoyed uh, this was a very interesting brush to take a look at I hope that was uh, useful to you when you're trying to buy brushes you know uh, what to look for so I'm gonna do more of these videos with all the other types of brushes to give you some information on different brush different style different bristles and how calligraphies look for them so that will help you when you when you're out there looking to buy a brush for your calligraphy so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel as usual so you can get notified when new videos are coming up and there's a tons of videos coming up on the pipe and don't forget to subscribe to my email list so head over to gohistoshortstudio.com put your email in there subscribe to the list so you can get unique content that's not distributed anywhere else and also you can get news about everything else that i have coming up and one of those things that i have coming up is the intro to japanese graffiti workshop which is coming up in 2014 so Make sure you subscribe so you can get information as it, as, it, as it comes available. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.